Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another movie look back review. Now, when I saw this movie in theaters when it was released in 2005, honestly, I didn't even know the name Steve Carell, but after watching this movie, it definitely made me a fan of his. And of course, I had to go check out some of his other work, which of course led me to The Office. And since then, I've watched that show, I don't know, hundreds of times. Honestly, I love that show. So thank you, 40-year-old virgin. Thank you, Steve Carell, for introducing me to The Office. But what about the movie we're looking back at today. I remember watching this in the theater and just laughing hysterically. This movie was just so much fun and so entertaining, but with comedies, sometimes they don't age well over time and that's what we're doing today. We're gonna look back at this particular movie and see how well it's aged. See if we still get those same laughs. All right guys, it's time to get on with the movie look back review of The 40 Year Old Virgin. The movie stars Steve Carell as Andy, Catherine Keener as Trish, Paul Rudd as David, Romani Malco as Jay, Seth Rogen as Cal, Jane Lynch as Paula, Jerry Bednob as Mooj, and was directed by Judd Apatow. Now we meet Andy, a guy who likes to get up every morning and make himself a well-proportioned breakfast before he gets on his bicycle and rides it to his job at the electronics store. When he comes home at night, well, he likes to unwind by playing some music, maybe looking at all his collectibles or throwing down some Halo multiplayer. That's if he doesn't have plans with his elderly neighbors to watch the latest episode of Survivor. And an exciting weekend for Andy as well if he decides to make his signature egg salad. Now there's one night that the guys at the electronics store want to put together a poker night, but they realize that they're one person short and without this one person, they're not going to be able to play. So they're very desperate to get that extra player. So in turn, they invite Andy to join them. Now it's during a conversation that all the guys are telling their wildest and craziest sexual adventures. They actually catch Andy well, not necessarily telling the truth, which in turn leads them to realize that he's the 40 year old virgin. The next day when we're turning to work, Andy's co-workers, well, let's just say they're gung-ho on getting Andy laid. Whether it's taking him out to a nightclub or speed dating or even a bookstore, they've essentially made it their mission that Andy's package, well, it's now their package. Now, whether it's out at a nightclub or through a series of flashbacks, we see that Andy actually does have game. Unfortunately, he just finds himself in the most awkward situations with even more awkward women that has led him to never seal in the deal. When I introduced this video, I said sometimes comedies, well, they don't hold up over time, especially like gag situations. But I have to tell you, the waxing scene, while well, watching it here this week, it still holds up. It's still just a lot of hilarity. And you'll be crying in tears, either laughing or crying in tears because you can feel how much pain Andy's going through. And even though Andy's co-workers are just set on just getting Andy laid for the first time, Andy would rather find love. He'd rather find Miss Wright, which leads us to his pursuit of Trish, who works at the We Sell Your Stuff on eBay store. Now Andy and Trish, they do hit it off, but of course for poor Andy, he's gonna find himself in an even more awkward situation, more awkward than all the other ones that have come before it. As Trish is getting ready for them to have a little bit of intimacy, Andy begins to try on various forms of protection. Now, when he's doing this, it's already hilarious and sometimes cringy at the same time. But what makes the scene a real WTF moment is when Trish's daughter walks in on him trying these protections on. Now, do I recommend you guys go check out the 40 year old virgin? Yes, I do. It's almost still as funny watching it here in 2020 as it was the first time in 2005. The jokes and the funny situations, they really held up over the past 15 years. And Steve Carell, he's really great as Andy, but so is all the supporting cast. You're really gonna grow and love all these characters. They all have such unique traits and they're all funny in their own way. While currently not available for free on any of your favorite streaming sites, it is available to rent here on YouTube for as little as $3.99. But you know what, guys? This movie is so awesome. 
I think it belongs in your collection. And look how old I've had this movie. It actually has a Blockbuster video sticker on that. Yeah, I bought it when they were like getting rid of the rentals. I picked this one up probably for like five bucks and it was a great investment because I still love watching this movie in 2020. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the 40 year old virgin a nine out of 10. I still absolutely love watching this movie. And it's a perfect movie if you're ever having just a bad day or it's rainy and gloomy outside and you need to be cheered up, this is the perfect movie to watch. Now the movie is gonna have quite a few adult and gross out humor type jokes, but you know what? It's never too much. It never feels overbearing. It kind of just feels right that it's just sprinkled in there throughout even more hilarity throughout the movie. Plus, this was the movie that introduced me to Steve Carell. So you know what? I probably have a little bit of a soft spot for this movie, but I was still rooting for Andy to get his piece of the pie, even watching it probably for like the 10th time here in 2020. Now, have you guys ever watched The 40 Year Old Virgin? And if you have, what are your thoughts on this movie? Leave me a comment below. And guys, if you like movie look back reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.